In this video, we're going to learn how to graph inequalities on the coordinate plane. These are two variable inequalities. We're going to look at several different examples, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to summarize the steps that you need to take. First, we'll look at y is greater than 3x plus 2. Now, the line y equals 3x plus 2 is called the boundary line and so that's 3x plus 2 equals y. This is the boundary line and the boundary line is uh, separates all of the points that will solve the equation from all the points that will not. So what we do is we graph this line y equals 3x plus 2 and I'll just plot a few points and I'm going to assume that you know how to do this. So the y-intercept is 2 slope is 3, which means that it contains these points, and then we'll draw our line. There's the line. Now, um, in this case, since we have a greater than, the points that are directly on the line are not part of the solution. So what we do is we make the line a dashed line. The next step is to test a point on one side of the line. And in this case, since the line doesn't go through the point 0, 0, we will test that point to see if it satisfies the inequality. So we take y is greater than 3x plus 2, and we're going to use the point 0, 0. So we make y 0, and we substitute it, and 0 is greater than, now we have 3 times 0, that's 0, so this side is just 2. Now it turns out that 0 is not greater than 2, which means that this point over here is not on the side of the solution, which means that the solution lies on the other side of the graph. So this is the side that we will shade, and we need to shade the entire plane on this side. So I won't do the entire thing, but on your graphs, you will have to sh shade this entire side. All right, let's do another example. y is less than or equal to 2x minus 1. So once again, we'll make a quick graph. The y-intercept is negative 1. The slope is 2. So we'll make a few points. I will draw the line and lengthen it. And then, since in this case, the line is, uh, or the inequality is less than or equal to, that means the points on the boundary are part of the solution, so we will leave the line as a solid line. Now we'll pick a point to test, and in this case we'll test the point zero, 0, again, because it is not on the boundary line. So we will test the point zero, 0, so we'll let y equal 0, is less than or equal to 2 times 0, minus 1. And uh, if we work this out, 0 is less than or equal to negative 1. Once again, we find that this point is not on the line because 0 is not less than or equal to negative 1. So in this case, we shade the points that are on the other side of the line, and that would be all the points over here. And we would, of course, shade in the entire thing. And this is where all of the solutions lie. Another example, 5x plus 2y is less than or equal to 15. Now the graphing of the boundary line, 5x plus 2y is equal to 15, um, is, uh, since this equation is in standard form, we'll just look at the x and y intercepts. If we make x 0 plus 2y equals 15, and this is 2y equals 15, and y equals 15 over 2, uh, we see that the y-intercept is 15 halves, or 7 and a half. So there's 7 and a half, so that there is the point uh, 0, 15 halves. And next, we'll let y equal 0. So we'll take the same equation, 5x plus 2y equals 15 and we'll let y equal 0, so this will be 5x plus 2 times 0 equals 15, 
5x equals 15 or x equals 3. So x equals 3, that's this point right over here. Let's draw the graph of the line. And in this case, we note that the inequality is less than or equal to, so we will leave the line solid. Now we need to test the point. So once again, we'll test the point 0, 0. If x is 0 and y is 0, we have 0 is less than or equal to 15. That's true. So that means that this point is in the solution area. So the solution lies on this side of the line. So we'll shade this whole area over here. And that would be our solution. Now I'd like to show you what to do in the special case where x and y both um, are 0. So let's say that we were going to plot, uh, we are going to graph this line, uh, and let's make this greater than or equal to. And um, so we take the boundary line, which is 2x minus 3y equals 0, and we'll make x 0. So if we make x 0, this turns into negative 3y equals 0, or y equals 0. So this line is goes directly through the origin. So we need to find another point. Let's let um, x equal 3. And um, so we'll just pick 3 because I, I kind of know that's going to work out. So we have 2 times 3 minus 3 times y um, equals 0. And you can probably see that if we make y equal to 2, that that will satisfy this equation. So 0, and then uh, this would be the point 3, comma 2, which is right here. And let's draw our boundary line. Now we need a point to test. We can't use 0, 0 because it's right on the boundary, so we'll need to pick a different point. In this case, let's pick the point 1, 1. That point is actually a better point might be this point, 0, 2. If we use the point 0, 2, then one of the coordinates will be 0, and we can certainly work out uh, what the solution is. So if x is 0 and y is 2, we have negative 3 times 2, that's negative 6, it's greater than or equal to 0. This is not a solution to the inequality. So once again, we, sh we shade, whoops, we shade on this side of the line. And there's our solution. So just to reiterate, in this case, when you are on the boundary, when the boundary goes through the origin, you cannot use the origin as a test point, so you do need to find another point. Now we're going to take a look at the special case of inequalities in one variable and how we plot those on the coordinate plane. So for x is greater than 3, we find the boundary line. Well, So here's x equals 3, and the boundary line is going to be this vertical line. That's the line x equals 3 we notice that this is an inequality greater than, not greater than or equal to, so this has got to be a dashed line, and we'll dash the line. And then where are the points where x is greater than 3? Well, they're all over here. So this is the side of the line that we will shade. And that's the graph of the inequality x is greater than 3. Now we'll take a look at y is less than or equal to negative 8. Well, we find the point uh, negative 8 on the y-axis. That's right over here. So this is 0, negative 8. And we'll draw the boundary line, which is the line y equals negative 8. And since this is a less than or equal to, the line is solid. And then we note where are the points where y is less than or equal to negative 8. Well, those are the points underneath the line. So in this case, we shade down here. Now, let's take a look at 
the at a summary of the process and we'll kind of go through the process with the inequality y is greater than x plus 1. The first thing we would do is we would graph the boundary line. So we would graph y equals x plus 1 and that line will look something like this. There's the y-intercept and this will be a line of that slope. Uh, we notice that the line is has got to be dashed uh, in this case because we're graphing uh, y is greater than x plus 1, so it's a greater than, so we'll need to dash the line. Okay, So we graph the boundary and as it says for greater than or less than, or less, than less than or greater than, the line is dashed. If it were less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, then we would make the line solid. Next, we pick a point that's not on the boundary line, and in this case we could use the point 0, 0, and test the point to see if it satisfies the inequality. So we would take the inequality, y is greater than x plus 1, and test the point 0, 0. 0 is greater than 0 plus 1. And in this case, the test fails. 0 is not greater than x plus 1. So in this case, we will shade the other side of the inequality. Okay. And if it turns out that it was um, that it did satisfy, then we would of course shade the side that the point is on. And there's the process. I hope that helps.